welcome back to my channel. So today in this video I am doing a Barbie movie tier list. I haven't done one of these on my channel before but I hope to do a few more especially with all of the DuckTales episodes. I want to do a tier list for that but that will be later on. But today it's all Barbie. Now Barbie was a huge part of my childhood. Um, I hated Disney as a kid but I was, I was a Barbie kid really. I grew up in the 2000s so the, one, the movies that came out in the 2000s are kind of the ones that I love. So they will be very high up the, t uh, the, up the tier list. Let's start off with The Nutcracker because that was the first ever Barbie movie released. Not including the one that came out in the 80s because we don't really add that one in. Because we just don't. Anyway, Nutcracker time. So, hmm. So we have God Tier, Chef's a Kiss. Sorry for the accent. Uh, mediocre, whoever made this movie should get fired, and spoilers, a lot of the new movies will be going into that. Yeah, and I don't know these movies, so there's only a few of these I haven't watched all the way through, but I have seen clips and scenes from them, so I will count that as I've seen the movie, so. Yeah, yeah, so Nutcracker. I'm gonna put that in Chef's Kiss. It's not god tier it's not it's definitely not god tier it's so good though i do like it but yeah chef's kiss and the next movie oopsie whoops i didn't mean to do that uh was rapunzel <laughs> i th i'm really torn for this one because i really like gothel in this version she's terrifying it's not god tier but i don't want to put it in chef's kiss uh, right, it's Chef's Kiss. It's going in that one. It's a good movie. I have mixed feelings for it. There you go. And the next one was Swan Lake. So, Chef's Kiss again. I'm so sorry. The three first movies are Don't Go in God Tier. They're just not the best. But yeah, Swan Lake, it's got a good story. The characters are all interesting. It's just a bit boring. I haven't actually watched it for a while, so that's probably why I think it's a bit boring because I've not seen it for a while, but. I'll have to rewatch it again. And then next up is, oh, Princess and the Pauper. You know exactly where I'm going to put this one. God tier. It deserves to be in God tier. It's right at the top of God tier because it's beautiful. The, the, right, the songs are great. The characters are great. The score is great. The villain is great. Everything about this movie is great. I love Preminger. He's probably one of the best villains of all time. Why isn't he a meme yet? I want to know why he's not a meme because he definitely deserves to be a meme. But yeah, Princess and Pauper, God tier, yes. Okay, next up is, oh, I think it's Fairytopia. I don't know. I watched this one yesterday. It deserves to be in God tier. Everything about this movie is perfect once again. It's not exactly Princess and the Pauper good, but it's still really, really good. The story's good. Character, I love all the characters. They're all amazing. Yes, I love it. Lavanna is great. She's another absolutely brilliant villain. And oh my god, the score, the, the soundtrack for this movie is fantastic. It's probably the best one out of any Barbie movie. Love it. It's so perfect. Just go watch the movie and you'll see exactly what I think. I should have the same opinion for its sequel, Mermaidia, which I also watched yesterday. So that is going in God tier as well. Excellent story, excellent characters, perfection. Okay, I think, oh, what was the next movie after Fairytopia? I think it was Magic of Pegasus. I kind of lose it a little bit after here because I had the first four movies on videotape. So I remember those very well, but not so much for the movies afterwards because I had them all on DVD so they kind of all blended in with one another. Magic of Pegasus. I'm going to put that in Chef's Kiss. It's not the best because the storyline is a little bit off in places but it's interesting. It's definitely good. Also I was obsessed with Wenlock, the villain, from the movie. I used to create characters based off of him. <laughs> oh god. I used to also, uh, he had two different coloured eyes. I can't remember what you call that but I used to base all my characters around that as well. I was obsessed with him when I was younger. No idea why. I also still have the video game for it as well, so it's a good movie. I highly recommend it. 
Okay, next up, oh, I don't know. I think it's Island Princess. I'm gonna say Island Princess. This, I just watched this one, well, actually, I'm still watching it. I'll finish watching it after I make this video. But that is Chef's Kiss. It's not God tier. I would have probably put it in God tier if, like last year because I rewatched it for the first time in about 10 years and I loved it. But then I've rewatched it a couple times since then and it's just a bit, hmm, could be better. It's a bit boring in places. Also, I can't stand Tika, that stupid elephant character. Entitled much? Anyway. <laughs> um, still really good movie. Luciana is great and the villain, uh, Queen Ariana. I think that's her name. She has the best villain song. Well, actually, no. Preminger is the best villain. But she has one of the best villain songs. Um, it's basically just saying that she's going to kill everyone. She kind of does try to kill everyone. God, wow, this is a dark movie. Jesus, I never realised that. Um, yeah, oh, what? It, basically, there's one part in the song where she says, Tuesday we were wed. Wednesday he was dead and he also uh, she also wants to play croquet with a king's head Anyway, so yeah good movie good songs go watch it Ah, uh, What was next? Oh, I just zoomed all the way. I didn't want to do that. Oh God, what did come next? I think 12 dancing princesses. I'm gonna put this in chef's kiss as well. It's Good, but it kind of has the same problem as magic of the pegasus where the storyline is a little bit off some, uh, sometimes do like all the characters or oh, the soundtrack for this one's also really good seems like the earlier barbie movies had such an excellent soundtrack or score whatever you want to call it and the newer ones just don't i don't know what came after okay i'm gonna go for mariposa i loved this movie as a kid it's not going in god tier because it's not exactly good enough because it is slightly boring um still absolutely brilliant i love the fact that all the characters are fairy uh, uh, butterfly fairies sorry i love their wings oh the wings are so pretty and it's a nice extension to the world of fairytopia as well and next up um i have the complete opposite opinion for the sequel wherever that is uh ba -da -ba -ba, where is it i cannot see it oh it's right at the bottom i am so oh no i am s no stop it okay Done. Right, I am so sorry <laughs> that didn't work the way I wanted it to, but yeah, I hate the movie. It completely ruins the original. Like, when they changed Mariposa's voice actress to Kelly Sheridan, the actual main voice of Barbie, when in the original she was voiced, I don't know the actress's name, uh, but she voices Nori in Mamadia, uh, Dahlia in Fairytopia, and Daring Drew from My Little Pony. Um, it's just, mm, if they didn't replace her voice, uh, I don't want to be horrible to Kelly Sheridan because she's abs she's one of my favourite voice actresses, but it just isn't the same. I probably would have put this movie higher if the voice actress was the original one, but it's just a really bad sequel. I know I'm in the minority for that because everyone seems to love it and completely ignore the original one for, for whatever reason. Oh my god, I just want to say something. I've been re-watching some of the Barbie movies on YouTube. And I had a look in the comments of one of them. Right. I was uh, born in 2000. The first Barbie movie came out in 2001. And the amount of people in the comments sections that were saying, like, I'm 11, I'm 14, I'm watching Barbie. I'm like, I'm almost 20. I grew up with these. You weren't even born when they came out. It's just, oh, I feel so old. It's so strange. Anyway, I just wanted to say that because it's sad. I'm a t almost 20 year old watching Barbie. I mean, I can't really say much because I still collect dolls and ponies. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, um, next up. Uh, oh gosh, I don't know. I'm going to go for Diamond Castle. I watched this one today. It's a bit boring. I love the brothers. Um, what were their names? Ian and Jeremy? I think that was the names. I found them hilarious. I never used to like them when I watched it as a kid. I'm always more interested in Liana and Alexa. But oh my god, I love them. They're so stupid and amazing at the same time. Amazing. Yes, I love it. Uh, but yeah, the movie's going in mediocre. 
it's worth a watch, but I probably wouldn't watch it again after you've watched it, kind of thing. Okay, next up is... I don't... Oh, let's go for Magic of the Rainbow. This isn't as good as the first one or the sequel, but I'm going to put that in Chef's Kiss, because it's still a good addition to the Fairytopia world. It's just a shame that the, the storyline's not exactly the best. Also, the addition of the new characters, um, I didn't really like them. The addition of the Enchantress actually having a proper role in the movie was quite nice, but Laverne is kind of just getting a bit boring at this point. I mean, two movies with her is fine, but they should have had a new villain for the third movie. But oh well. Yeah, still worth a watch. And Thumbelina, I'll do that one next. This one is so boring. But it's not going in whoever made this movie should be fired. It's a good movie but it's very boring. I haven't watched it since I was little. Um, it just doesn't really feel like a Barbie movie. I think that's the problem. And next up, I will go for Three Musketeers. I haven't watched this probably since I watched Thumbelina. I loved it as a kid, but I'm gonna put that in mediocre. Is the, the cat character, Miette, I think was the name? ruins it for me. She's such an annoying character and who the flippin' hell designed her? She looks so awful. Uh, okay, yeah, that's going a mediocre. Next up, I will go for a fashion fairy tale. I'm gonna put this one here in Chef's Kiss. It's a good movie. It's a, it's a really good Barbie movie, actually. More like. It's definitely worth a watch. Uh, the characters are all cool. I love the flairies. They're amazing. Yeah, definitely worth a watch for this one. And I'm going to go for its sort of sequel, but it's not really a sequel. It just kind of expands on the world a little bit more because of the famous fashion designer character who's secretly a fairy. Spoilers! Uh, fairy secret! Um, mediocre. <sighs> it's good. Oh, I don't know. I might actually... I like the character design. I think that's going to boost it up just slightly. The wings are super pretty. So that, that whole thing is what pushes it up to Chef's Kiss. I'll probably change my mind when I rewatch it. But it's Chef's Kiss. Yeah, I'll leave it there. I might change it later on, but who knows. But yeah, now we're getting to the later movies. Oh, wait, no, no, we're not. We've got two here, which are older. I'll go for Mermaid Tail. Chef's Kiss. It's great. I, I didn't think of it too much as a kid because I was getting a little bit too old. <laughs> getting a little bit too old to watch Barbie. Hello, I'm almost 20. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, by that point, people my age were growing out of that type of thing. So I was just like, oh, I won't watch it. But I still had it on DVD anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to put that in chefs because it's definitely worth a watch. And I really like the mermaid characters. They're all interesting. Also, Eris is a great villain. Next up, Christmas Carol, God tier, God tier, God tier. I love this version. It definitely helped me <laughs> um, in um, my GCSEs for year 11 because we had to cover the book Christmas Carol. And a lot of the quotes from the book are actually used in this movie. So it helped because I watched this movie so much as a kid. It's such a good movie. Go watch it, please. Also, just go, just doesn't even need to be Christmas just just go watch it it's amazing I also have the holiday Barbie goes along with the movie and she's my favorite Barbie doll so definitely pushes it up a lot okay now we have the movies oh no 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 there's one there that I really like Princess Charm School that is going god tier that's probably the last good Barbie movie I just love the storyline it's kind of like Island Princess in a way that it's very dark, with the storyline's quite dark because uh, Dame Devon, the villain, killed the queen, I think, in a car accident. I think she killed them, or staged the accident, or something like that, so she could become the queen. What the hell? This is a kid's movie. No, it's still a really good movie. Also, I love Delancey. She's a great character. I mean, she was horrible at the beginning, but she redeemed herself very well. She's probably my favourite character from the movie. Next up, I will go for... I don't know, because I don't really like many of these movies. I'll go for Mermaid Tail 2. I'm going to put that in Mediocre. It's not as good as the original, plus I haven't seen it for probably about 10 years. That's, it probably came out 
only seven years ago, <laughs> but you get my point. Um, yeah, I've probably not seen it since it came out, whenever that was, which is probably about 2013 or 14, or maybe even less than that. I don't know, I didn't really care for Barbie at this point. But yeah, now there's the movies that I didn't grow up watching. Oh, Barbie Diaries never- oh, I have seen it. Oh god, I don't remember anything about it. I'm gonna put that in I don't know because I, I can't remember what happened in it. Apart from the animation is terrifying. Anyway, oh, what did I do? Princess Power, never seen it, but I've seen clips, so that's going in whoever made this movie should get fired because it is awful. The animation style is the worst. The colors are too bright and poppy. It's terrible. I couldn't, I couldn't watch the whole thing. Oh, no. Spice World, I've never seen it. I've seen one clip, like a one minute clip, and it didn't look very interesting, so I didn't watch it. Video Game Hero is mediocre. It's not bad. It's kind of interesting with all the different worlds they go to, but it's, eh, it's a movie, I guess. Pearl Princess, I've only seen that once. Uh, I don't remember it being particularly good, but I'll put it me me uh, mediocre. Princess and the Pop Star, absolute ripoff of Princess and the Pauper. Shouldn't exist. Never seen this one. Never seen this one, but I'm going to put this one in here because they use that new awful animation style which I can't stand. Also it just looks terrible. <laughs> Rock and Rolls, I actually watched this recently and I liked it. I, I was obsessed with how they animated the skirts and the outfits. I really liked that but it, I wouldn't exactly call it a Great Barb movie. Oh wait, what's the difference between Puppy Chase and Great Puppy Adventure? I'm putting them in there because I don't actually know the difference between either of them. I thought there was only one puppy movie. Perfect Christmas. Boring. Secret Door. <sighs> I don't like the movie one bit. It's bad. The colours are too bright. I do like the characters though, but it's boring as anything. But I don't think the person who made it should get fired. Dolphin Magic. Boring as anything and I hate it. Pink Shoes, boring as anything, and I hate it. Absolute rip-off of Swan Lake. Well, there's one bit in the movie where they completely rip off Swan Lake and ruin everything. And finally, I watched this movie the other day. It's... The backgrounds are absolutely stunning. But the characters are bland. One-dimensional, incredibly boring. The designs aren't particularly interesting. Oh god, as someone who's working on like scenes and animation at uni, the way that they did the scene transitions and the cuts was absolutely awful. I don't think I've ever seen anything so bad in a Barbie movie before, but I, I don't think it- I'm gonna put that in mediocre. It's not a bad movie, it's just the way that they've done the scenes isn't very interesting and they haven't even set the scene properly either. So one minute. It's night time, and then, oh, actually, no, it's just daytime, or nighttime, whatever. And then suddenly, the next scene, it's the opposite. And they haven't actually set the scene properly. It's just, it, ugh, it's not done well. I can't explain it, but it's not done well at all, and I just don't like it. But anyway, here's my tier list. <gasps> all the Barbie movies. So, yeah, God Tier, Princess and the Pauper, Fairytopia, Marmadia, Christmas Carol, and Princess Charm School. And then onto Chef's Kiss. So we got Nutcracker, Rapunzel, Swan Lake, Magic of Pegasus, Island Princess, Twelve Dancing Princesses, Mariposa, Magic of the Rainbow, or Fairy Topia, Magic of the Rainbow, whatever. A Fashion Fairy Tale, Barbie, A Fairy Secret, Barbie and a Mermaid Tale. And then we kind of come down to the uh, mediocre section Diamond Castle, Thumbelina, Three Musketeers, Mermaid Tale 2. Video Game Hero, Pearl Princess, Rock and Royals, Secret Door, and Starlight Adventure. I'd say probably watch these movies once, but you won't want to watch them again. And then whoever made this movie should get fired. I know that's a bit cruel, but these movies are just awful. A stain on the Barbie movies. So Mariposa and the Fairy Princess, Princess Power, Princess and the Pop Star. I haven't actually seen either of the puppy ones, but I've seen a few scenes and it looks terrible and the new animation style is the worst thing I've ever put my eyes on, so they're in here too! 
Also, I don't have a clue what the difference is between them. What's the obsession with freakishly cartoony dogs? A perfect Christmas, Dolphin Magic, and the pink shoes. And then finally, I don't know these movies because I haven't actually ever seen a single... Well, I've seen a bit of... I don't know, I just don't have a clue what happens in them, really. I may have seen a clip or two, but I still don't have a clue what's going on. But yeah, that's my tier list. Fun times. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, poo. Which one did was which one was this in? Uh, I think I put it there, right? Yeah. Don't touch the tier list, or it will go crazy. So yeah. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what other tier video you would like to see. I do have a couple planned, like as I said at the beginning of the DuckTales episode 1, because it's my favourite cartoon currently. Uh, but yeah, let me know what else you'd like to see, and goodbye.